Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and by the end of the video, deploy an automated crypto trading bot on the Mudrex platform. Now, if you're not familiar with Mudrex, it is an algo based trading platform that allows you to configure and deploy crypto trading bots based on your own strategies that you build around either indicators or candlestick patterns. And you can actually get started for free and put the platform to the live fire test and deploy as many bots as you want via their basic package. So I will leave a link in the description down below. And if you use that link, you'll actually get a $25 sign up bonus that you could actually apply to the premium package which would cost you $16 a month. And by stepping up to the premium package, you get unlimited backtesting. And in my book, the unlimited backtesting is worth the $16 ask. Now, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to the actual configuration of the bot. So from the build menu over here on the left hand side, you have an option to create new strategies or use one of your existing strategies. And to create a new strategy, you would simply either click visual editor or external signals. Now the external signals would be like alerts sent from trading view, but the bot I'll be deploying today will be using the visual editor. So I just click on visual editor and you'll come to the editor dashboard. And the editor dashboard is actually very simple to use. You click, drag and drop the blocks that you want to use and then you just click and drag the arrows to connect those blocks to the actual function boxes and in this case like the buy or sell boxes now i already have my strategy configured so i'm going to jump over to that strategy and the strategy is my rsi ema 4070 cross strategy you may have seen me deploy this recently on eth usdt and so the blocks that i actually used would be the indicator block the compare block also i use the and block in order to connect these two blocks as i wanted both the rsi crossing up and the ema price cross to be required in order to execute a buy same thing on the sell side i wanted the crosses of the rsi and the ema in order to sell now let's take a look at the first block and that's going to be my rsi crossing up block and in order to find your indicator for the block you would type in the indicator you want to use but in this case it's rsi and so we select rsi and then the parameters are going to be nine rsi crossing up through the 40 and i use the ema and you click OK. And then on the EMA block, it's a compare block. So again, I would type in the indicator I want to compare. In this case, I'm comparing the EMA to price. And what I'm looking for in the compare is the EMA to be lesser than the close price. And what that looks like on a chart would be in this if we take a look here at the center of the screen you see this green candle closing above the purple line and the purple line is my 9 ema it also corresponds if you look down below at my rsi crossing above the yellow line running through the bottom of the screen here and with the rsi crossing above 40 and the price closing above the 9 ema that gives me confirmation that this price action should be trending up and that's precisely what it ended up doing and so that's what i'm looking for out of this strategy and then the parameters is the ema period of 70 and then advanced parameters are already set so i just click ok now for the sell side similar the only real difference is i'm still using the nine period rsi greater than 70 and again jumping back to the chart and so when the price action gets above 70 on the rsi levels that generally indicates an 
overbought market, which may then start to pull back. And you see oftentimes when we get above that 70 level, you see a whole lot of pullbacks on the RSI. And same thing on the opposite side, we get oversold when we cross down below 30 and we will generally see a bounce somewhere around 30 or 20. And I'm not really interested until we get above the 40. That indicates to me that the sell-off or the oversold condition is coming to an end. And so for my RSI sell block, I want that RSI greater than 70. That tells me we're probably going to be cooling off and the moving average type on this block is going to be SMA versus EMA on the other one. And then we do have the EMA compare block. And the only real difference is the operator is greater than where on the buy block it was less than so the EMA would be above the price which a lot of times can act as resistance and push that price down and that's the basic settings I have them connected via what they call a logic box and the logic in this both blocks to be required in order to sell or buy now as far as a stop loss goes I highly recommend you deploy your bot with a stop loss now I monitor my bots, so I am going to do a quick back test without the stop loss, as I will actually be the stop loss. Well, that's my safety, sir. Now for the take profit side, I do actually have that enabled, and I have it set up with an 18% as the value for take profit, with a trailing limit of 2%, so that would give it room to move down 2%. And if it breached that level, it would close the position. If it didn't breach that 2%, it would give it an opportunity to run back up. And so that's my basic settings for this strategy. Now I'm going to run a back test and I need to select my exchange. In this case, it's going to be Binance. The market will be USDT. And so I am bullish on ADA, so we'll give that a shot. And then the tick interval is 15 minutes. Click start back test. And now the back test is complete and it looks like my monthly average returns would be just around 25%. Loss making months around 42%. The performance score is 6. But I want more details so the actions box over here I click on that. And this will give me more details as far as the results go. Now to address some of you hodlers out there that say why bother investing if you can't beat the market returns and if we're looking at the year and a half results the market would have outperformed this particular bot. However I'm going to click on all and recalculate those results for you hodlers out there. And so the results from April 2018 to March 2021 had you just bought and held ADA you'd be up only 400%. Now, I say only, that's a good number. However, deploying this bot and this strategy would have you up three times that amount at around 1,200%. And just a note, I've actually been trading ADA since 2018. I'm well ahead of this figure here. And if you go back and watch my video, Is It Too Late to Buy ADA? You'll see I actually bought ADA back in March of 2020 for three cents. And so this figure here is why I trade. Now, those coins I bought for three cents, I am long-term holding those. Now, let's get to the numbers I'm actually interested in. And that's the three-month results to give me an idea on this current market condition, how this bot would perform. And before we dive into those numbers, I'm going to fix the fee that I pay. I actually pay 0.75 per trade because I do pay my fees in the BNB token on Binance. So we'll hit recalculate. And the results are positive. I'd be up almost 85% per month or 630% from December 2020 to March 2021. And the reality is this bot almost kept up with the market returns. And if you're not familiar with what ADA has been doing over the last three months, it's been going pretty much parabolic straight up. And the fact the bot can almost keep up with that is one of the reasons why the bot has the potential to outperform the market over the long term. Now my performance score is eight and a number between five and seven is average. Eight is considered good. My max drawdown is around 25%. And I like to be around that figure. 
Uh, total trades is 52, which is actually quite a few more trades for my bots. And the sharp ratio is a six. Anything over one is considered acceptable. Anything over two is considered good. And at 6.2, we're winning the battle there. My profit factor is over three. So again, anything over one is acceptable. Anything over two is considered good. And we're above that figure. And as I mentioned, the overall returns were 630% in three months time. That to me is definitely winning the battle. My winning streak is seven, losing streak of five. Now I do have to stress the losing streak of five. I happen to have already done this back test and will tell you right out of the gate, this bot had a losing streak of five. Now I'll ask you, do you have the stomach to stick with it? That would not bother me. I wouldn't be thrilled, but that doesn't bother me. The losses are small, and I know the potential wins, like this 16%, 17%, 16, 19, 15, versus these 4 and 5 and 1% losses doesn't bother me. But you have to come up with your own risk tolerance, and that's why these videos are how to configure and deploy, not how to copy. If you copy my strategies, Odds are you will not see the same performance that I see, mainly because I manage my bots and from time to time I will actually close a position manually and lock in profits. So with that being said, I'm really just trying to show you how to configure a bot yourself. You need to do your own recon to find a strategy that will meet your risk tolerance. And so trades won just around 52%. Largest win was 20. Largest loss was 13. Would have liked to see this number a little lower. But in reality, that 13% loss came when the entire market dumped on February 22nd. So considering the size of the dump, a 13% loss is actually a win. Now the next two numbers I utilize to figure out a risk versus reward ratio. And in this case, I'm right around that one to three risk versus reward ratio. As long as I'm at around a one to three risk versus reward ratio, I don't have to be right very often to be profitable. So I'm happy with these results. So let's get this bot deployed. So I jump back over to the visual editor page, click on live trades. And again, you could actually paper trade this for a while if you're not comfortable deploying your strategy. Uh, one of the features that the Moodrex platform includes is paper trading. I personally prefer to put my bots to live fire. And so I'm actually going to deploy this bot on Binance US, USDT, ADA on the 15 minute tick interval and I click start live and I need to select my API key and in this case I've already connected my Binance US exchange account via API keys you don't actually send money to Mudrex you connect your exchange via API keys so your money stays on your exchange and is as secure as it can be on an exchange and so I select my Binance US API keys the amount of ammo I'm going to give the bot is $500. And because my Binance US exchange wallet is connected, it shows me my available balance. So I click next and the bot is live and running. So that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to do a real quick video and show you how to configure and deploy your own bot on the Mudrex platform. I will be doing a performance update video on this bot in the near future, whether it's profit or loss. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Mudrex in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.